What's up, tech herders? Welcome back to the channel where we test drive the software you're most pumped about. I'm Polly, your strapping bearded host, bringing you another fun look into the world of Linux. So get ready, because today we're taking a wild trip into the heart of chaos as it makes the leap to Plasma 6. Chaos, a rolling release Linux, takes a different approach to Plasma with focus and simplicity. It's been buzzing around the Linux community and people are pumped about it. But before we give Chaos too much praise over other Plasma 6 distros, we'll get down and dirty. We'll dig into Chaos 24.03 and see if it's as smooth as butter or if there's bugs present there too. So get ready as we install one of the Kleenex Linux distros around. Let's go! All right, let's get booted up. We'll press enter so that we can choose our USB stick. I have a Data Traveler USB stick, so I'll select that. And on my screen, you'll see a Ventoy installation. You have a couple options. If you don't know what Ventoy is, you can simply download KOS on its website and then use a software like Bolina Etcher to burn it onto your USB stick. Either way, get chaos on a USB stick, boot up, and select that sucker. Let's boot into chaos installer. Just like that. Here we are, we have an install chaos option. We'll grab that. We need internet. So, I'm not on Ethernet, so I'll jump on a Wi-Fi. There we go. Now can I just next pass that? So this installer is really simple. Uh, just select your time zones, America, and Los Angeles for me. There it is. And I can go next. English and default for me. I want LibreOffice, so I'll select that. You can also select no office suite or a minimal install where you can select everything after the fact. I want to see what chaos is all about. Now, do we want pipe wire or the old pulse audio? You know I want the big guns, baby. For this install, we're going to erase the entire disk. We're going to do a swap with Hibernate, and I'm going to leave the default XFS file system. Why not? Chaos defaults to system deboot. You could use Refind or No Bootloader. If you really wanted Grub, you could select No Bootloader and install Grub yourself. But I'm just going to go with the defaults as we're trying to check Chaos out. Now fill in your details, and I'll fill in mine. I'm on a ThinkPad T480. I'll reuse my password for the root. And since I didn't encrypt the drive, I want login, so it asks for a password. And let's go! You can review everything. And if you know you're good, click Next, give it permission, and sit back as we get chaos. Boom! Wow, that was pretty quick, guys. So we can close the installer or restart. Let's have our first boot into stock chaos and see how they set up Plasma 6. Here we go! There's system deboot. And here's the chaos theme. It might not be my cup of tea. We can always change that. We have the power of Plasma 6 with the simplicity and focus of chaos. Let's get logged in to our TechHeart user. What do we think? First things first, what is chaos? The idea behind chaos is to create a tightly integrated and transparent distribution for the modern desktop. Build from scratch with a, shouldn't that be built? The modern desktop comma. Build from scratch with a very specific focus on one DE. 
Plasma, one toolkit, QT, and one architecture, x86, plus a focus on evaluating and selecting the most suitable tools and applications. All right, cool. For someone just jumping into Plasma 6, that's kind of everything you'd want. You can deselect to launch the helper at boot. It tells you about Plasma's different tools, Plasma theming, widgets, window decoration, mouse behavior, icon sets, V desktops, screen settings, colors, etc. It has a packages section, wallpapers, docs, advanced. Yeah, you can set your firewall, energy settings. I really like this edition in Chaos. Let's click on System D Daemon. Now I control System D from System CTL in the terminal. However, this is System D Genie. It's pretty cool to see all of the services that your computer has running in the background in a GUI wrapper. I like System D Genie. For those of you that don't know, System D is what runs the underlying software, like your Bluetooth. KDE does use Pac-Man, but they have their own packages. We can take a look at that in a minute, but let's go back over to the main page. Chaos is set up with virtual desktops horizontally as opposed to vertically, like I'm used to. It comes with a light theme with the docs over on the right. I noticed that they have a few widgets already added that aren't in a normal plasma installation, like a calculator, sticky notes, and power lock buttons. It uses Falcon as its web browser. Let's get on the web. And then we can search for the Chaos web page. A lean KDE distribution. I wanted to pull up their web page to take a peek at their packages. I'll open up a terminal real quick. Just to show you that while Chaos does use Pac-Man, we could do a system upgrade. There we go. So while it does use Pac-Man, it has its own packages in four sections, apps, build, core, and main. Unlike Arch Linux, there's no AUR or Arch user repository, but Chaos has a KCP, Chaos users maintained set of files to easily build extra packages. Like VS Code. So, to install Chaos Community Packages, they have their own app, KCP, and you can do dash I, and then any of the KCP packages. I'll install VS Code just to test it. We don't need to edit the package build. I'm going to trust these Chaos people. And, just like that, we should have VS Code installed. So using Chaos, you don't have the AUR, but you have their version of it. That's pretty cool. Let's close some of this stuff. Now, what do you guys think about this light theme and the panel on the right hand side? It's kind of the stock Chaos way, but you can still customize it any way you want, just like normal Plasma 6. In fact, we can open up the regular Plasma 6 settings. Let's switch to dark mode. Remember on Arch Linux, that didn't work on the first version 6.0. Let's see. Boom! <laughs> now, one thing I noticed that I didn't like is I don't like Chaos's SDDM theme. It's called Midra, and it is good looking, but I want the regular Breeze Plasma 6 theme. So I'll apply that. And now on our next reboot, we should see that Breeze theme. In fact, you're not stuck with any of the Chaos defaults. All right, let's shut down this welcome deal. And if you don't like that panel over here on the right, like Chaos installs it, you can just enter edit mode and position. You can throw it right down there where it normally would have been. Now let's check for any funky bug-like stuff that we found on other distros. Let's click uh, Fit Content. Oh yeah, look at that. So the panel, when you click Fit Content, goes all the way to the left-hand side. Let's put that back up on Fill Width. Let me try Custom. Fit, or I'm sorry, Custom. 
So the problem was on the left side. Let me try to drag the left. Oh, yeah, look at that. So there's, there's one small issue. Maybe we could put that up the pipe to the KDE team or the KOS team. I have one other thought on that. Let's make it back to, back to stock. Let's try to throw that panel back to the right position and see if we can get it. Ooh, look at that. Yeah, you see? So there's some panel issues here. That panel went over here. Let me try to set position to the left. Yeah, so once I made that edit and I threw the panel down here, which it'll still show up there. Let's try it on top. Yeah, so anywhere I put it now, it doesn't work. So there's one small issue I see with Plasma 6 on KOS. Um, luckily, I like my panel down here. Now I do like to set it to a custom width, but that's not working either. Unless I'm doing something wrong, am I missing it? something guys? Let me know. Let's try not floating. Yeah, selecting not floating doesn't anchor it. It's kind of hanging a few pixels from the bottom. So I'll leave it floating and full width on the bottom because as said, even if I wanted to throw it back over to the right, it's not working perfectly correctly now. Again, all these small bugs that we found on Arch or uh, Neon, these are just, you know, growing pains. They're gonna go away. By the way, I will make this statement because I didn't know it when I did the Arch video. The KDE team has released two point upgrades. You know, it was Plasma 6 version 6.0.0 and they've released 6.0.1 and 6.0.2. So hopefully this week we'll get 6.0.3. And you know, some of these issues are gonna come out. But that's what we're here to do tonight, guys, is find these issues. So the panel is down there floating just fine, but I can't throw it back to the right again. Let's go find that welcome screen. I wanted to check out, I think it's called Crosco, Crosco. Let's check out these, uh, these settings we can do here. Widget style, just pulls up the settings app, but in a different format, that's cool. There's nothing KOS specific here. Let's try some of the others. Plasma theme, we're on breeze. Again, Midna is the KDE stock. Maybe what we should do is, I'm gonna open up the full settings app. Let's try this real quick. Let's go to the full appearance. So if I scroll down, we go to colors and themes, and we go to the global theme. Let's switch back to Midna for a second. I'm gonna switch everything back to Midna, stock, KOS, chaos. Okay, now the plasma's on the right again. Now let's try to throw that panel down to the bottom. So now I'm gonna go position, Bottom, okay. Let me try to throw the position back to the right. Okay, see that works, so let's let's try this. Position, bottom. Now let's do the fit to content, and it's perfect. So, I think that Chaos has their theme set up great for Plasma 6, but maybe the Breeze theme isn't perfect for Chaos. That'll be a bug probably to move up through the KDE website, kde.bugs.org, I think. Let me try to do custom like I like. I'll drag this. Yep, and it works perfect, guys. So, check that out. Here's how I normally set it up. I, I set it like kind of that big. So, in Chaos, using their Midna theme, we can get a perfect panel. Now, let's see if we can at least go to Dark theme. If I go to the, I don't know where it is. I'm going to close and open settings again. Now, let me go to Dark, but it actually is Breeze Dark, so I don't think this will work. Let's apply it. Okay, so there's just some little bug in, in whatever file or whatever settings. If you do all your modification, like, you know, add widgets, add shortcuts to the Midna theme, and then switch over to Breeze Dark, it looks good. Should we try to edit it now? I mean, it'll probably just break, and then let's do fill width. Okay, now it's working. Look at that, fill width. So did you see that bug that we had right there, guys? Or I'm sorry, fit content was the one that I meant. So look, fit content works now, and now let's try custom and see if we can drag this. Yes. So, that's kind of interesting, right? And I'll set this one out a little more. Oops, hold on. I should be able to drag those independently. I'll set this one in, and then the maximum, I'll drag out a little more. And so now my panel is uh, small, and it can grow a little bit, like up to here. If I had just switched to the Breeze theme earlier and then tried to customize, there was some bugs. No big deal, but I'm mentioning it. Let's check out the last of these uh, Crosco settings. Mouse behavior. Cool. I use a touchpad, but anyhow, you can change your icon set. 
I do like to change my icon set. And actually, look, Midna are flat icons. I might like that. I'm going to switch. Yeah, that looks a little cool. I like the chaos icons. You can always get new and add all the icons or themes that you want. But I like the Midna ones for right now. That's fine. Virtual desktops. Ooh, okay, here's what we're going to do. So chaos scrolls vertically with their Midna theme. I'm going to change this to one row. And I'm going to add two more desktops and apply. And now it scrolls vertically the way that I prefer. If you want it vertically, leave the rows. If not, you can set it like this. Now let's try that cube setting. Let me close this welcome screen down. We'll go into settings. And we'll search for cube. Desktop effects. Cube. Turn it on. Apply. And now if we press Meta C, which is Windows C, we get that cool Plasma Cube that they took out in Plasma 5, but it's back in Plasma 6. If y'all like that, it's right here on Chaos. Easy peasy, baby. I don't like this virtual desktop widget, so I'm going to edit my panel. Is it called the pager? I'm going to remove the pager. Yeah, it was called the pager. Let's open up their software. It's called Octopi to add and remove software. Now, since this is Octopi, I think it'll work fine, which we install GIMP. Let's search for GIMP. There it is. We can click install. And then is there a apply? Yeah, we'll click apply. And it tells us to get GIMP, it needs eight packages. You can review that if you like. Click yes. Hit it with the password. Doesn't seem like there's any issues there. So no issues with the GUI package manager. We can test that by running GIMP. And yeah, no issues there. Remember, we had issues with Plasma Discover. If we ran it from the command line, it would work. And if we ran it from the menu, it did not. But there's GIMP installed. So the package manager looks great. What do you guys think? What more should I have tested or looked at? Should I have went through more settings and showed how to customize Plasma more? We can do a video about that. I get pretty crazy with my uh, customization. Sometimes I'll have a panel down here that's very short and just with the icons of my favorites and windows that are open. And then I'll have another panel on top with my time and my menu and all that stuff. We could go through widgets and see uh, all the different widgets that Plasma 6 offers. Let me know what you want for the future. For right now, I'm going to keep Chaos installed on this ThinkPad, and I think it's a really awesome Linux operating software. It has the advantages of using the Pac-Man package manager, and it has its own user repositories. They didn't look as large as the Arch user repository, but certainly helpful. Who is Chaos for? I think Chaos is for a new user. A user that wants Arch, but is a little bit perplexed by it. Um, the Chaos documentation was not as good as the Arch Wiki by, by a long shot. However, this is a really clean operating system that focuses on Plasma 6. And so if you're looking for Plasma 6 right now, and you want it to function as close to perfect as possible, I don't think you can look over Chaos. And it sounds so stinking cool too. I run chaos. Last thing I hadn't logged out yet. We can show you that breeze theme. We switch that over from the stock chaos theme. It looks great. I guess all that's left to do now is to shut down and edit this video. I think you guys should go give chaos an install because it's pretty fresh, baby. Let me know what more I should have done down in the comments. Till next time, tech horror!